Hey guys, I'm back again. This time we were actually able to find some of these retro He-Man figures over at Walmart. Again, another hit at one of the Walmarts. Not close to the house, so it's pretty far away due to the fact that the one near us never replenishes and every time we go to the other one, it seems to have a good variance of toys to select from. Last time I was able to get Batman, Spider-Man, and now some of the He-Man retros. So we're doing an unboxing of He-Man. Tila. And of course, Battle Cat. My favorite. This one looks a lot more modern, obviously, than the old school one. They did a lot better job on some of the fur effects to them. There's the back of Battle Cat. Love the art. Of course, Battle Cat's just all in its hardcoreness. This doesn't have Cringer, his little weakness self. I want to get that sky slide, damn it. Man of Arms, whack ass figure. Skeletor, another whack ass figure. Evelyn, meh. Beastman, all right. But definitely He Man, Tila, all time faves. All right, guys, here they are. You got He-Man. Overly done upper body. Apparently he skipped leg day. Pretty hilarious. And you got Tila. Who's significantly smaller than He-Man, but scaled appropriately. So she has her little Cobra. I don't even know if this thing comes off. It does. So, removable. There she is. She comes with a shield. And her Cobra staff. And then also comes with this mini comic, which looks like the same comic that comes with... Hey man, really good art in here. So for He-Man, like I said, a little over the top with the upper body. Super yellow hair. He has his chest plate where the sword can go, or battle axe, whatever you want to put in there. Either way, it'll fit. I'm pretty much gonna have them set up as scenes because I'm gonna do another shelf for my He-Man figures because I'm gonna start getting some of the older ones. Probably pick up the Prince Adam from Super 7. But back to this Mattel one. So, ginormous biceps. Does have a hinge in there, as you can see. That way you can get a good pump in. Pretty much set up like the old school figure, but just a lot more newness to him. Does have a torso twist, a little bit of a head swivel. He's kind of loose, so it's a little bit notchy. That's all the way forward, that's all the way back. Arms can stretch out, so that'll be cool for a pose with the sword. Not much of a knee, I mean, that's pretty much where he kicks it back. A little bit of a, actually, you can put it on his tippy toes. So, kind of like Spider-Man, you can do that. So 
So his boots twist. So a lot of articulation on this figure. Definitely a lot more than what there was back in the day. Let's try to get his sword. Man, the back of the sword's whack as hell. So there he is in his pose that I'm gonna probably set him up on. There's a shield. And again, battle axe from before. So, pretty cool figure. Definitely digging all these retro toys that are coming back out. Next up is Tila, same articulation. A lot of wrist movement. He-Man has wrist movement as well. Hopefully those don't give out over time. They do stand very well. So there's He-Man. Even though their feet are a little bit narrow. She has a lot of leg gap. Her hair is done up pretty well, like it was back in the old school days. Good job with the paint application with the armbands, the gauntlets. Her boots, skin tone, the little suit with the gold accents. They did a good job. And even her face doesn't look all jacked up. Like some of the ones I saw, like Negasonic with the Deadpool Marvel Legends. It looks like her face is melting. So definitely a nice job, Mattel. He-Man, same thing with the good job with the skin tone, the orange belt, the loincloth. The boots with the little fur, orange bracelets, and his vest, of course. The hair is a little bit too yellowy, and I'll get a one of my old Super 7 He-Man figures that I, I don't think I'm ever going to open, but maybe one day. Again, she comes with her shield, her Cobra staff, and then her little chest plate gauntlet whatever the hell you want to call it of course that doesn't want to go over her head stay there you go and it just clips in the back you can see here just clips on like that and that's it so there's Tila and He-Man together. Really good. He-Man's not too heavy, even though he's looking a little bit bulky. Tila definitely is light as hell. Not really much to her, but one of my favorite characters in the series, so gotta get her to stay on the side of uh, He-Man. Like I said, she does have a lot of leg gap. You can see it right there, standing there. You can literally punt the football through it, but whatever. I guess they'll figure it out. So this is the figure that I was talking to you guys about. This is from Super 7. He-Man. Definitely a lot larger. Does come with the sword, the battle axe, but the sword is complete versus that one that is actually, looks like it's missing the back portion of it. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or what, but definitely missing something maybe I just got a fluke but there he is the different head sculpts not as yellow hair oh this likeness is definitely not like of the cartoon but there's the back of the box cool artwork there's the different figures I was only able to get he-man I wanted ram man and Tila in that one too but Never got around to it. There's the rest of the clan. Super 7. It came in a basic box. Nothing like crazy like they do now. But you see he's got a couple different swords. see the 
size difference in a second. There you go. I mean, you can see he's ginormous. He's about, oh, there goes human. He's literally half the man. But still love these figures, don't care. So this will go probably once I get a couple more of these figures into a case. I'll have to move some stuff around again. But that is the least of my worries with all these new figures that I've been picking up. So and last but not least, here's Battle Cat. He actually has way more articulation than I thought he would have. So, obviously the mask comes off. There's his tiger face. His mouth actually opens up, closes all the way. There's some of his head tilts. His feet are very articulated too. I mean, you can move them around. I mean, you can kind of lay him down. Whoops, there goes he man. Yeah, I know that you guys wouldn't pose him like that, but just to show some articulation, it actually has a hinge in there. Each leg is like that. He stands really well. back on actually snaps on fix his leg this one does seem to fall out a little bit easy they twist left and right really loosely so that would be my only feedback his tail rotates so different poses however you want to do it it does his little seat does move around a lot. Let's try to get him out on there. So, man, that, that is just reminiscent of my childhood right there. He man on top of Battle Cat with his sword. And it brings back a lot of memories, man. But. That's why we have these toys to share them with you guys and to share them with the world and to pass this along to my kids and have them see what daddy used to have as toys as they collect their own stuff if they do end up collecting or whatever. But it's so cool that they're actually bringing these back for us collectors that actually love these toys and then we don't resell them or whatever the case may be. We actually enjoy putting them up in display cases and have them set up in dioramas and etc. Just uh, to relive those moments. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. It's Battle Cat, Masters of the Universe, Retro Style, Tila, He-Man, Cringer slash Battle Cat, and my Super 7 He-Man in the background over there. Thanks again for watching guys and hopefully you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got more for you coming. See ya.